the bloody phone. Oh, I can't do this, John. Mikey, what, what do you mean? I want to do what you said. I want to do right for Grace, but I can't. Slow down. I thought he came collecting for Macmillan. He's dressed like he's come to paint the dining room, not eating it. Mikey, what did I tell you earlier? There's a bandana sat at my table. What? He took everything. Even the horse. Mikey, stop. They've only been there ten minutes. Poor lad can't have said more than two words to you. No wonder she didn't want to bring him over. Poor girl. Did she... Did she say that to you? She didn't have to. Look, this is just a simple dinner. So he wears a bandana. So what? You were sporting a mullet well into the 90s. Get back out there and give him a chance. John, I can tell by looking at him. We don't have anything in common. He's got this strange clip on his belt. What's all that about? I don't know. Here's a strange idea. Why don't you ask him? All right, all right. Good. Now off you pop. I don't want to hear from you again until all your plates are clean. You can do this, Mikey. You can do it. Everything okay? Yeah, that was your Uncle John on the phone. He's been having a bit of trouble with his PR. He sends his love. Already? He said he had it a year. Well, that's what you get with all these modern tech full cars these days. Simple engine's all you need. Never mind all this... ...weefy, blue-teeth nonsense. Bluetooth. You got any beers in the fridge? Yeah, there should be some at the bottom shelf near the back. Thanks for being nice to Tom. I know this sort of thing doesn't come easy to you. I honestly thought you weren't going to let him in the house with his bandana on. What bandana? <sighs> <laughs> Look, I know you think I'm after having you over here so soon. It's just me and your dad. Trying to do what's best for you. I know. And you're doing good. So keep it up. <laughs>